The Gators soccer team was originally scheduled to have a home game tonight, but due to Richard Spencer's event on campus, they moved their game location. Welcome back to sports, I'm Jordan Reed. Currently, the Gators are taking on the Kentucky Wildcats at Embry-Riddle Soccer Stadium in Daytona Beach. Going into tonight's game, the 20th ranked Gators have a record of 11-4 and are on a two-game losing streak. Coming off two consecutive losses, the Gators look to get the win tonight against the unranked Wildcats. Kentucky currently has a record of 7-10 and, and are 2-5 and five in SEC play. And just like the Gators, the Wildcats are also on a two-game losing streak. Gator football has the big game Saturday with LSU coming in for homecoming. Both teams have given several fre true freshmen their opportunity to get their feet wet on the field. For the Gators, head coach Jim McElwain is now 16-3 in regular SEC games, which ties Steve Spurrier's mark through 19 league games. Coach McElwain's Gators are 13-1 in the Swamp, and UF has scored in 365 consecutive games, tying Michigan for first all-time. For LSU, only four players are left from the LSU team that played here last in 2014. The Tigers have won six of their last seven games against S the SEC East, and they are 71-0 when they rush for over 100 yards and hold opponents under 100 yards in the same game. So far, this postseason has been crazy and unpredictable, which means anything could happen. And last night, both the New York Yankees and the Chicago Cubs proved that. Being down 2-0 in both the American League Division Series and Championship Series, the Yankees have shown their resilience once again. Having won three in a row, they now lead the series 3-2. After dominating the Houston Astros last night at home, the Yankees won 5-0. They will head back to Houston for tomorrow's Game 6. Heading over to the National League, the Cubs broke the Dodgers' six-game postseason streak after winning last night's game 3-2. The Dodgers still lead the series 3-1, though. However, if the Cubs win tonight, the team will head back to California for the remainder of the series. But will the Dodgers win and be the first team to secure their spot in the 2017 World Series? Tonight, the Dodgers have ace pitcher Clayton Kershaw starting, while the Cubs have Jose Quintana taking the mound. Catch the game tonight at 8 on TBS. Gator Volleyball did it again last night, beating Texas A&M to continue their perfect start to the season. After struggling to maintain a solid lead most of the night, the Gators won the final set by 15 points. However, this time the Gators did not sweep their opponent. The Aggies fought hard and kept the scores close in both the first and second sets. Then during the third, the Gators fell short. But the Gators came back and crushed the Aggies in the fourth set, winning 25-10. Next up, Georgia. This Georgia team will be very much like A&M in terms of being the left side oriented. They have young left sides, but just uh, fearless in their swings. The win last night was number 887 for Coach Wise. She is now the mo has the most wins by any female head coach in Division I history. She'll have a chance at 888 on Sunday afternoon when UF hosts Georgia. The Gators were back in Exact Tech Arena tonight where they played in their annual Dig Pink match. They faced South Carolina and swept them in three sets. Here are some highlights from tonight's game. <laughs> After being on the road last week where Florida swept Alabama in three sets and then beat Auburn 3-1, they were back home tonight to take on South Carolina. A powerful performance by Florida allowed them to quickly sweep South Carolina, making it their 11th sweep of the season. Florida put up some incredible numbers with 44 kills, 5 aces, 10 blocks, 37 assists, and 33 digs. Tonight's game leader in kills for Florida was fifth-year senior Shina Joseph, who had 13, followed by Carly Snyder with 10 and Ramah Al-Hassan with 9. In addition to her 13 kills in tonight's match, Joseph also scored 14 points for Florida. After the game, Joseph commented on her performance and what the team is doing now that will help them down the road. I think tonight was just a whole accumulation of us working really hard during this week, like me and Ali finding a good connection. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're just working on little things, getting ready for the big teams that we're playing yeah. in December. It was also a record-breaking night for Al-Hassan, who recorded her 503rd career block assist, which broke Benavia Jenkins' school record. Florida is now 17-1 and 9-1 in SEC play. Following tonight's game, senior outside hitter Carly Snyder commended her team on their performance and commented on how they maintained their focus. I thought the setters did a really great job tonight um, applying what we did in practice all week, and there were times we were a little high air, but a huge credit to our team for coming back and refocusing, so I think it was a match about uh, maintaining our focus and maintaining what we did all week in practice. Next up, the Gators will travel to Starkville, Mississippi, where they will face Mississippi State on Sunday at 1. For ESPN 98.1, I'm Jordan Reed.